Welcome to How To Pam. Uh, today, uh, in LibriCAD, we'd like to look at some drawing, but uh, before we do, it's important that we learn how to input the uh, coordinates into the keyboard for efficient entry. So we're going to be talking about the coordinate system. And you can see in the wiki of LibriCAD here at .org, they have under the heading of coordinate system, they have all sorts of information on entering of coordinates. Now there are the common CAD system coordinates are Cartesian coordinates, and then there is polar coordinate system. Now Cartesian system right here, Cartesian and polar. Cartesian system is a point of entry plus another point. Polar is a point of entry plus an angle. Okay, so we can look around here. We can see here's a Cartesian entry where we have where we have a, a point and an angle that could be a Cartesian entry. And then we have positioning of relative position or absolute position, and those are those are important terms as well. Absolute coordinates, which would be relating from an absolute point like zero zero, or relative coordinates, which would be a point from another point relative to another point. So we could say that the point here is zero zero of our drawing. We could make a point absolutely 50 over and 50 up from this zero zero point. But the next point could be relative. We could go relative from this point to this point at a polar coordinate. And this would be a relative polar coordinate then, which is 100 up at an angle of 45 degrees. Okay? So you can find out lots of information on the coordinates here at the wiki of uh, LibriCAD.org under the coordinate system. And we will try a few ourselves to see how this will work for us, okay? So let's open up our LibriCAD. And here we have a new drawing and we're just practicing. So if we have layer zero, we're just gonna go ahead and stay on la layer zero. Now, hopefully you've been learning a little bit about the shortcuts for the command, command line entry over here. And so we will enter commands from here and it'll make it very efficient. Now, here are, just if you follow my mouse, down here in this corner are actually the coordinates uh, listed here in both Cartesan and polar with an angle here and both in absolute and relative two sections so your coordinates are all listed here in the drawing okay so let's go first over here and let's check some of this out let's type in li for line and press enter okay let's give a first point of zero comma zero okay for an absolute zero zero point now our next point from there we could go absolute as well if we knew where we wanted to be on our drawing here so we know that the coordinates in LibriCAD work horizontally in the X direction which comes first in our entry and vertically in the Y direction which is the second coordinate entered so let's say I wanted to go up about 10 and over 10 I could do that just with an absolute ent coordinate entry. So I could go 10, comma, 10. Okay, and we enter that. And there you go. You can see it right there. 10 up and 10 over. That was an absolute coordinate entry. Now let's say I wanted to do something a little different and go relative so that I don't have to calculate from 0, 0, absolute. It's very difficult if you have to make every calculation back to the zero point and, and, and go from there. So let's 
use the the at off of our keyboard we press the shift key and the two and that gives us the at symbol here which means which allows us to use relative coordinates and that will mean that we'll go from this point now this point was 10 10 absolute from zero but now we can go from there so let's just say that I wanted to have a uh, a uh, absolute uh, um, or a relative Cartesian coordinate from our point here okay and let's specify that point again from there let's go relative to that point let's go there and let's go zero in the X and let's go 30 up in the Y there we go okay so now we've gone relative to this point here and we've gone zero in the horizontal and we've gone up 30 units in the Y direction okay so now let's try a a polar coordinate and we can do that easy enough by using a uh, the symbol for relative to okay and then we're going to we're going to um, enter an amount that we'd like to go in the X direction horizontally so let's say that we want to go X say 30 okay and we'd like to go in the Y zero okay units and let's there we go right there okay okay so let's go with the relative sign and let's go 30 units in the X direction give a space let's put in the sign for angle give a space and let's do that at do that at 25 degrees okay there we go we can see that with that polar coordinate okay so there we were if you look in the uh, if you look here we were relative from our last point we went 30 units towards in the horizontal of the X at an angle of 25 degrees okay and that got us here so if we would like to move on from there we again could go relative and let's go zero units in the X horizontal and let's go up 20 units in the vertical Y direction there we go okay so now if we would like to go horizontally we could uh, we could go relative and we could go 50 units in the horizontal direction and we could use an angle here again but our angle here if we wanted a straight horizontal line no rise would be zero degrees okay and there you go now again if we wanted to be relative and rise up we could do 30 units at an angle of 90 degrees and there you go you see we went 30 units at an angle of 90 degrees relative to this point okay so we actually by using this polar coordinate we went in the Y direction 30 units up because we had 30 units at 90 degrees from our relative point okay and that happened to be a Y uh, a, a rise in the Y direction okay so if we wanted to 
if we wanted to reverse that, okay? Right from our point here, coordinates are available in positive and negative directions. So if we wanted to reverse that, we could go at, let's say we want to go back in the x direction towards our datum of 0, 0. Um, let's go 20 units in the x, but let's, uh, let's put a negative 20 units, comma, and let's go down negative 10 units in the y direction. And there we go. Okay, so we've actually gone at an angle because we went 20 units and 10 and that relates an angle. Now, let's say that we'd like to carry on in the x. We can go relative relative uh, let's go 20 units at an angle of now for angles we wouldn't use negatives we would complete the circle of 360 so if we know zero is true horizontal line if this is our zero line here then our angles go all the way around to 360 so we'd be back here, we want to be 180. So we're going to go 20 units at 180 degrees. And that gives us there. Okay. So if we'd like to make a nice little square, let's just, let's just uh, go relative um, let's go 50 units up at zero, or I'm sorry, let's go um, zero in the X and 50 units in the Y direction, and there we go. Now, let's carry on, let's go relative. Um, zero units in the X and 50 units I'm sorry 50 units in the X and zero units in the Y and there we go okay now we could add a polar in here by putting at and we could go um, go relative Let's go 50 units, okay, at an angle of 270, and there we go, okay? Now, if you're uncertain about angles, we can look down here on the Cortison plate and you can see I wanted an angle of 270. At first I typed in 90, and that was up here. We needed to go 270 off of the zero plane, okay? We had, okay. Now, if we'd like to close this off, we could actually, you can see we've got the snaps set here, okay? Snap on intersection. There's an intersection right there. We could just snap that off. And we could right click and be off of there. And there you go. Okay, so hopefully that has given you a little bit of an idea of how to use uh, Cartesian and polar coordinates. Again, we could do one by a line here. Okay, we'll type line, and let's start at zero and zero. Sorry, we've got to enter, enter, and let's uh, let's go with zero zero point. Okay, and the next point, let's just do absolute coordinates. Okay, so there's our zero zero down here, and let us go zero in the x and one hundred in the y. And you can see we've gone up right there. 
Now, let's do absolute again instead of relative. Okay? So absolute we'll be taking from the zero. Okay? So if we wish to go if we wish to go from in an absolute coordinate, we'll shut that off, okay? If we if we desire to go somewhere in an absolute direction, we'll have to again calculate from the zero zero mark, which is a little bit more calculating. Because now instead of going relative from this point, we'll have to go absolute from here and find this point. So let's say that I would like to go to where somewhere's in this area. I would have to now locate that point by going from absolute zero zero so we would actually go in the X direction this many units okay so let's say that's about 20 units in the X direction we're guessing and we've gone up from the zero um, all the way up here so basically this was a hundred and we've gone even further so let's just suppose that we've gone a hundred and thirty in the y direction okay I was out a little bit but that's an absolute okay that is an absolute coordinate notice that we measured everything this point we came from the zero and again in the second point we came from zero zero absolutely from the zero zero okay so it's much easier and quicker using relative coordinates we can easily go with relative now okay so we can add our relative sign and we could say let's go 10 units in the X direction and let's go zero in the Y okay and there we go now again we could go relative zero in the X direction uh, horizontally and we could go 20 in the Y okay and again relatively we could go uh, 30 at an angle of 45 degrees and there you go okay so there's a little bit on drawing let's just press the escape key on the keyboard again twice or right mouse click and you've got the idea of how these polar and Cartesian coordinates operate and you can get much more information about that off the wiki of LibriCAD under the coordinate section. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that little coordinate system tutorial by How To Pam. Thank you for watching How To Pam.